Hi, I'm Jennifer Fox with musiceducatorresources.com. Glad to see you here for tip number five. Today's tip comes from Andrew Brothers, who is a teacher in Peoria, Arizona. And Andrew teaches music in school, and he also teaches piano lessons. And today's tip is for a piano student um, to help them with better technique, better hand position, as well as sitting position. If you've ever heard of using a ladybug to help with hand position, you've probably heard this from Diane Heidi. She did this blog post about using a ladybug in lessons to help students have a rounded hand shape so they just set their hand right on top of the ladybug to help them with the beautiful hand shape and I liked that Andrew took this a little one step further and shared how he also does this with good sitting position so he shared that he begins with the ladybug on his shoulder and he explains to the student that he likes to rest or the ladybug likes to rest on a relaxed shoulder. He and he shows them the difference. They talk about the difference between relaxed and not relaxed, shrugged. And, you know, if you're relaxed, the ladybug is going to want to just sit there and enjoy life. (laughs) But if you're not relaxed, the ladybug might fly away, and you don't want that. So then he shows the ladybug traveling down his arm, at the top of his hand and he explains that the ladybug likes the smooth pathway and doesn't like to travel up the mountain up the mountain so that's a low wrist or in the ladybug doesn't want to fall off the cliff if you have a high wrist and then he teaches that the um, if you open the garage door you're lifting your thumb up there that allows the ladybug to come in and sit under their hand. And then this teaches their um, the nice hand position, the, the shape that they should have when they're playing. And he also explains that if they lift their hand too high, the ladybug will escape and fly away. He shared that his students have responded really well to this and it addresses many of the problems that we, we might see with beginning students, but even experienced students. So I really liked how he used that ladybug and used the whole body experience with that. So not just the hand shape, but took it one step farther and, um, you know, with the shoulders and everything else and just traveled on down. I really loved that. I don't have a ladybug. I have a brain. Whoa. <laughs> I have this brain that does the same thing. It's our brain on music. (laughs) And um, it just helps them have that nice um, hand hand shape right there. And so when they take their hand off, and of course if I'm on the piano, I'm not going to have my wrist will be just right. But um, and then they're playing just just correctly. So now I'm going to have to get a ladybug because I really like that whole body experience. <laughs> so if you want a ladybug or want to read about Diane's um, Heidi's blog post about the ladybug that she posted, I think back in 2013, I will link to those in the description um, for you in the video. And then also, if you have a music teacher tip that you would like to share that maybe you use with your students in the classroom or in your studio, please share. We would all love to hear it and just fill out the form and I'll leave that link as well. Thanks again to Andrew for sharing his music tip and happy teaching.